All right, so what, what we're going to do next, just like we did in the creating the existing ground surface, we're going to create another surface just for slope analysis. We're also going to save this drawing as the slope analysis drawing. So let's do that first. So we'll click the disk icon up on the top menu bar, and we will go to the create uh, or analyze the surface folder. And we will create slope analysis. We'll click save. And now we have a new drawing. What we're going to do next, we're going to create a new surface. So under surfaces in the prospector tab, we're going to right click, create surface. And we can leave that on the C topo uh, layer. That's fine. We're going to just call this slopes and the style what we're going to do is we're going to pick on that. We're going to change that to a slope banding 2D style. We'll click OK. And the rendering material will leave it the way it is. And we will we will click OK here. Now for the description, we might want to come in here and change that to a uh, something that we understand what it is. So maybe we're looking at, you know, two and 10 foot slope intervals, 10 foot intervals, whatever you might want to put a description in. But for now, we're just going to click OK. So now what we're going to do, just like we did before, we need to add the data. So we're going to go to surfaces, expand slopes, expand definition, and we're going to right click on contours, select add. Again, we can call these 10 foot contours. Leave all this the way it is. We'll click OK. And then what we're going to do is, like we did before, let's go ahead and isolate this layer first. And then, sorry, let's go back to contours and add, we'll do that again, 10 foot contours. Spell it right. Click OK. Let's do a window around these contours. And then layer on isolate. And now you can see we've got this surface that's got some different banding and slopes, but we still got a create the analysis. So we're not quite done yet. What we want to do next is go back and add that boundary. So we're going to click on add and we'll call this property. It's an outer boundary. We'll leave the non-destructive break line um, checked. We'll leave the mid or the way it is. We'll click OK. Then we're going to come in and we're just going to pick on that boundary. Anywhere in there, you can see it knows it has to be a closed boundary, so it picked it up. And now you can see that it's really truncated our surface just around this property boundary, because that's what we're most interested in. Now that we have that, if we pick that surface now, right click and go to properties, or sorry, surface properties, make sure you're picking surface properties. you'll get a dialog box where we can go over to the analysis tab. So on the analysis tab, you have different analysis types. We're going to do a slope analysis. We'll go down here and we'll select slopes. We'll worry about the legend later, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna choose four for the number of ranges, and we're gonna click the down arrow here to run the analysis. You can see, we'll expand this a little bit to give us more view of what we have. We've got color swatches and we've got our min and max slopes. So we know that anything between zero and 15% were good, right? That That is acceptable slopes. And I'm gonna choose that as green. So green meaning that we're good to go. We can then go from 15, oops, click in here. We'll do 15 to 25. So you may have to do 25 first, right? That, it just knows you can't have the max being 
uh, lower than or less than the minimum. So we'll do the maximum next. So here we're, we're looking at 50 and this would be 25. And then on this one, we'll select 50 and it'll take it out to the end. And then we'll change our swatches here. So I'm gonna change this to yellow. We'll go orange. And then here is critical slopes. And that's really what we're interested in. We're gonna pick red. So now that we have all that set, we can click on apply. And if we hit preview, we get a slope table. And we'll come back and we'll look at that in a second, but I'm gonna click okay. And now you can see where most of our slopes are. And you can see our critical slopes are over in here. So you can see also our critical slopes are down in here. So for the most part, we're okay because we're mostly green and yellow. And we got a little bit of red in some of these areas, okay? So we're gonna be able to put a slope legend and then you know, we'll be able to use this on a, an exhibit to show that uh, what, our, what, what the slopes of our, our existing conditions look like when we present this to the uh, approval or going in for permitting purposes.